Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to fill out an online free and reduced lunch application for Freeman School District. Okay, so to start, you're going to go into your browser and go to freemansd.org. Then you're going to want to navigate to the Family Access button. Type in your username and password for Family Access. Make sure you're on the right thing, click sign in. And it brings you to this page. Go ahead and click food service on the left side. Then click applications. And then click add application. And it'll open up the application on Skyward. This first screen shows you um, a bunch of information. It's got the letter to families that the um, government sends out. So it has some information about income and meal pricing, go ahead and click that you've read it and then click next. This is the federal income chart. Um, please note that on this video it's not current, so um, when you go to actually do your application it'll be current. And then go ahead and read through your Privacy Act statement and then the non-discrimination -disc statement. And it'll bring you to your application, so this is where you're going to type in your student names. So I'm just filling out an application for my fake daughter, Rochelle. So typing in her last name and then her first name. And then fill in the rest of the information for your children. And one line will be one child in this case. So if I had more kids, I would just keep filling it out down below on this same screen. Click next. This screen asks you if you are on any government benefits, so go ahead and fill that out if you are. And then this is the income screen, so this is where you'll fill out any income that you make or that anyone in your household makes. So this is also where you'll list other household members. So that could be other kids living at home that are too young to go to Freeman yet, or maybe that go to another school, um, or it can also be aunts, uncles, anyone living in your home. So we want to make sure we get a good idea of how many people are living in your house. And then when you're filling out your income, make sure you fill out frequency the right way and fill out all those columns if you need to. And then you need to add your total household members. So um, anyone that has been listed needs to be included in that number and then your social security number. Click next. And then this is a signature page, so type in your name exactly as you typed it in when you listed your income. Go ahead and fill out your address. And then click to sign. And that's our signature agreement. Click to sign. Address your contact information. And then click next. And then from here, the rest of the screens are optional, so go ahead and fill out what information you'd like to, and then we get to this screen and it will take you through your whole applications. So go ahead and review it for accuracy. Make sure that the total household member number is the same amount that's listed on your application. Make sure you entered everything incorrectly, read through all the agreements, and then go ahead and click Submit Application. And now you're all done, so you can check that off your list. And if you have any questions, just contact your child's school and they'll get you in touch with someone who can help.